LaVisca Chanel, the do-everything receiver, you know, use him on the wing, use him in the backfield, split him out wide, put him in the slot. He can make plays because he's a physical player. And I like here, you know, using him in the red zone, kind of like Mohamed Sanu when he was at Rutgers and in the past. You can find that little cutback behind the trap block. And he can drop those pads, keep his eyes up through contact from a defensive end, hitting him, you know, with indirect contact and still be able to extend through that and some glancing shot from the safety here to pull his way across. So you see that you have good balance and power and pad level. So the technique, the strength, the balance, all there just when you're talking about him as a runner. And you know this is going to translate into the open field. When you watch him in the open field, he routinely runs through wraps from defensive backs. I mean, if you can run through an indirect hit from a defensive end and a safety in succession, you're going to be pretty darn good in the open field. You're going to see a push at the end of this run, and we're going to highlight something else in a minute too, but watch after he makes this move, which is so sweet. Be able to run through the wrap of a defensive back, and then push a defensive lineman who's come into the fray, now big old 97 here, and still be able to at least stalemate and push until the gang tacklers arrive to try and, you know, keep this yardage to a minimum. But look at that crossover move. Such a sweet move. That that hard stick. And when you can make a stick like that, when you extend that leg well outside of kind of the bubble of your shoulders and your hips. That's often going to sell it enough that it's going to force a defender to have to react hard. And when you can turn those hips back to the outside and work behind, I mean, that's a beautiful crossover. And you can see what he does there is he doesn't try and, you know, jump cut all the way across. He sticks, turns the hips, and keeps really his, his feet under his pads. So he just brings that outside foot back a little bit more to the inside where he used that inside stick and then turns his feet and works around. And let's talk about the catch a little bit here. Nice extension. You know, it's over that inside shoulder. Shows good extension, good framing with his hands. Secures it well. Ball's a little loose, or actually very loose here. But he tends to carry it tight to his chest. He needs to keep the elbow a little tighter. And the ball can get loose when he starts to change direction in the open field, which is common for a lot of players. But look at this from another angle here. You know, good extension, good framing of the ball, catches it with his fingertips. You like that. And I think that that's something that's going to, that's pervasive about his game at every level of the field where he's making a reception on the target. Once again, that hard stick. Brings that inside foot, outside foot in a little bit more. Turns the toes and the hips. Beautiful play. Now what you'll notice when you look at box scores with LaVisca Chennault is that he has, tends to have a low yards per catch average because he's used so much in the short passing game as well as being a runner. But you, what we want to look for is how he runs intermediate and deeper routes. And this is a good example of of the promise that he has in the intermediate game as a receiver, as well as, you know, pushing a pile of three defenders here. I mean, look at that again, the power, the balance, that's lovely. Now let's take a look at what he does here, split outside, get a close up view. First thing you like, okay, pads over the knees, eyes up, selling the deep route all the way through. He does that such a, he does such a good job of that. So, and the key thing is with the eyes up because he's going to sell his eyes and helmet all the way through against the off coverage defender here who's already turning and running over here. And when he does that, you're going to see him turn his, his head to the inside as if he's breaking to the, towards the post. And he's going to then turn an extra little bit to the inside if he's looking for the ball. So his head moves twice in this break. And those incremental movements with his head really sells the route. And then he's going to pull the string with that stick and that turn with that first step to the inside. The defender's bitten on that post. And then watch him bring the second foot and then the second inside step right here and point that toe. See how he really turns that toe 
you know, really back to the to the quarterback there, really back in a way that he can really flatten out that route. And you can see the defender over top is just completely turned around at this point. And then he catches the ball. And look at the finger, the tensile strength of his fingers to be able to catch the back end of the ball like that and snare it back in, you know, to his frame pretty quickly and make that play. This is really impressive stuff from LaVisca Chanel because you're seeing, again, the eye discipline downfield that works as well with his pads, the ability to really sell that route with the first look to the inside as if he's looking to a break point and then looking back to the quarterback. So you get two little looks that sell that route. Again, the plant, the second inside step, second outs or the second outside step then the inside step and then he plants that left foot look how he really twists that toe right in there so he gets that flat break back into the ball when you can catch with your fingertips you can make those back into the ball catches and then of course that after play strength here's Chenault over top left and you're going to see tight coverage here you're going to see a three-step move a wipe with the inside arm and then late hands to be able to make the play and watch the late hands right there brings them up just as the ball is just over the top catches the ball over his shoulder with his hands good tracking gets two feet in bounds really three feet in bounds right there but look at just the the move the wipe right there as the defender reaches and wipes through. So you got the speed and power. He just runs right by the defensive back. He gets a good yard on the defender and then just catches it with his fingertips. And they're going to show it a couple more times without really seeing the route, but more of the catch. But you can see that that late speed, be able to catch ball with the fingertips with the hands over the shoulder. Really nicely done. So you see that he does have the deep speed, that he has the deep game available to him to be able to make the play. A little bit of a bobble there, but he catches it with his fingertips so it affords an easy second chance opportunity. Taps both feet in bounds. Well done. One of the important things you want to see about Chanel when it comes to his play as a route runner, because again, a lot of looks in the short game as opposed to the deep game, is when he gets opportunities to run intermediate routes. Can you see elements that he can build upon? We already see once again, the eyes selling the vertical, you know, forcing the man to turn and run. And then watch the one plant there, that nice long plant step with the instep, and then be able to drop his weight and bend at the knees. Those are the elements you wanna see with a hard break. So he's able to do that, even with a defender holding him, you know, at the crown of the jersey, He's being held and interfered with right there. And it's, I'm sure they call it holding on this, not defensive, not um, pass interference. But being held like that, he's still able to drop the weight, come off of it with one step, one hard plant step. That's nice work. Now, where you'd like to see him improve is even with a defender playing physical and holding you, I like the violence of that inside arm. That was good. The violence of the inside arm was good. But the placement needs to be better. You know, he's throwing, he's executing what's a throw, known as a throw by, where you're going to be able to bring that hand up and bring it up. Really, you want it under the arm or in the side of the defender and to push that defender by. But he doesn't really get good placement with it. He's kind of frustrated, you can tell a little bit, to try and get free of that defender holding him. So, you know, he draws a penalty. That's good. But if you're really getting nitpicky, you want to see him de develop a throw by that's really pinpoint accurate because a guy with his quickness, with his bend and his strength, to be able to execute a perfect throw by is going to be a very dangerous thing that he can use in his arsenal against tight man coverage in the NFL and the potentials there. One of the places where Chanel can be better is when he sees contact in his sight line or potential for contact in his sight line on targets that are over his shoulder. This is a route 
where he's he's going to take the lick from the safety. He extends the ball is in his hands, but goes right through, and you can see, kind of almost a little bit tilted towards the defender, and that's fine. I mean, you know, that's that's a tough catch, but if you're talking about that next level of where he needs to go, this is it. He's going to need to be able to take these hits, or at least be able to make the catch, knowing that the hit is potentially there for him to incur and he misses that one this is not a one-off situation either you're going to see on this little smash screen to the right should be able to come up and attack the ball he gets his hands on the ball both hands framed very well but in his sight line as he begins to pull it down he's going to see that flashy yellow within about five yards of him and when he starts to see that flashy yellow he loses concentration and loses control of the ball. So again, you know, these are not easy plays, but these are the type of plays you expect from a receiver with his ability to be able to track the football and his physicality. So it's not that he's afraid of the football or any or afraid of, you know, being hit, nothing remotely like that. But Julio Jones is a player who he's often compared to by, from what I've seen, at least in the community that, that I interact with online. And uh, Julio Jones also had this problem. He still kind of has this problem. He's good at taking contact when it's to his back. But when he sees a flash of color and he's trying to make the catch and it's in his sight line, he can lose concentration. Both are tough receivers. But it just can be something that can be disruptive. And that level of focus is lacking with his game on a consistent basis right now. Still, you can see the promises here with Chana at the face of contact. Because you're going to see him on this streak. With the defender coming across, the safety coming across. Reach up, catch the ball. And this defender, this flash, this defender must be in the periphery of his vision. But he does an excellent job of being able to concentrate, snare the ball, and pull it down and turn his back into the defender. So the pull down is really key here in addition to the concentration. Turns back for the ball, catches it at its high point, doesn't leap for the ball. This is the one thing that I really like about what I've seen from Chennault is that, yes, he can go up and win the ball, but on this particular play, he doesn't extend to the point where he leaves his feet to make the play and lose control. He keeps his feet on the ground so he can extend for it, catch it, turn, and head up field. And as a result, he takes much less of a hit. It's, this is a much you know, calmer hit than what he probably would have taken if he had to turn all the way around and leap and go airborne for the ball. He reduces his target um, in, for the defender as a result of that with that pull down and get some extra yards out of it. So this is very smooth, fluid play and shows you what he's capable of in terms of tracking the football. If someone tells you that this guy can't track the football, they haven't watched enough LaVisca Chennault because this is an excellent display of ball tracking. When you know you don't have to leave your feet to high point a ball, especially in a situation like this where most receivers would turn and leap, that is notable. And then the pull down. Quick turn, pull down. That's an excellent underrated maneuver as well. And that reduces the surface area for a hard hit. Great job by Chennault. So despite the fact that Chennault is in an offense like Alabama or LSU and featured in that way, you can see that he's able to make some tough plays over the middle, earn yards after the contact. He's certainly a guy that's a big-time playmaker, both on the perimeter and inside. He's versatile, he's strong, he's fast, and you get a chance to see snippets of skills that translate to big play production on the outside. Certainly, you know, this is a guy with a lot of upside. He might not grade out as highly on a wide variety of route skills based on his tape alone. But if you look closely enough at LaVisca Chennault, what you see is a guy who might have the highest upside of any receiver in this class. 
and I have him ranked easily within my top five of receivers at this point before the NFL Combine. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.